Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to this baby video. I found this recipe on Pinterest and it's how to make a boxed cake mix that it's like a bakery. And these are the things that you can change. So I thought I'd give it a try. I bought these two cakes. These are pretty much the same thing. What I'm going to be following is exactly the same way that it says here, like the normal one. And as far as the other one though, I'm just going to be changing a few things. I'm going to add cake mix, water, oil, then one, two, three eggs. Usually when you bake, well, when I bake, it's all messy, but it's okay, it's power baking. And then we're gonna mix. Because I'm going to be doing the other box, I need this like bowl. So I'm just going to switch this to here. So I'm just going to write a note, remember which one is this one. Let's call this normal cake mix, so I don't forget. So as far as the other one, the cake mix is obviously the same, but what changes is everything else actually. You're supposed to add one more egg, just melt the butter instead of oil and double the amount. Just milk instead of water, add vanilla. Okay, this is gonna be tricky because I don't think I have that much butter, but we'll see what happens. I have done the whole prep thing. I have here my mix. I have four eggs, one cup of milk, and then the butter. The butter, it says that juice melted butter instead of oil and double the amount. I didn't have one cup to be exact, I have just a bit less than a cup, but it's just a cupish. So I'm just gonna mix everything. Milk goes in, butter, and then the eggs. And I really hope this is not a fail because it's just a lot of ingredients that we use daily. It's gonna be a lot of waste if this doesn't work out. And I almost forgot this, vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. As far as, you know, mixing time doesn't say anything. So I'm guessing it's pretty much the same as the box. For two minutes low speed. So this is what this two look like. This is the normal one. I put the note here and I'm just going to move it for you to see what it looks like. If you've done a cake mix, this is what it looks like. As far as this one, feels a bit lighter. This feels a bit, I don't know, harder to do this and this seems fluffier. Yeah, it just feels lighter. I'm going to write a note calling it test that there says then reduce when you insert cupcakes and bake for 25 minutes. I'm going to be testing these recipes in cupcake forms. Since this is only a test, I'm just going to be baking six. Just in case the recipes don't work or whatever, I don't have that much of a waste. And since I'm making two recipes, like different recipes, I need to know which one is which. The white ones are going to be like for the normal ones, like the cake mix. And this one's because I found this idea on Pinterest and Pinterest like has it all and this one has it all. It's kind of cute. This reminds me of Pinterest. This is going to be like the test. So I'm gonna start with the normal ones. I'm going to be using this ice cream scoop. It's um, two tablespoons and this is the amount that I like to put on my cupcakes. And I do this so I can have like the same amount because more like I feel like it's too much. If you do more, you can get those results. Pretty, huh? Now I'm doing this one. And for this one, it's exactly the same. As far as how this one feels, as I'm doing this, is fluffier and less runny. So I have saved two and two. So I'm first gonna open one of these ones and it feels pretty lightweight and it feels like airy. Then I'm going to open this. You can see a lot of like air. Like it feels fluffy but it feels like separated. I'm gonna have a bit of this. It's not bad. But now I'm going to show you what one of this looks like. This feels like it's going to break a bit less. When I opened this, the white one, like this moment felt like the cupcake was gonna break. But this feels a lot like stable. And as you can see, it has a lot less air, like cavities. I'm going to do this with this one, I forgot. Sorry about that. I'm just going to be... This feels like if I can uh, carry this, this is not gonna break. When I did that in this one, the whole thing felt like it was gonna break. So this feels a bit more like unified and... When I do this, it just sounds like once. Test one feels a lot fluffier than this one. Doesn't make sense from like the angle, but in real life it does and tastes. Mmm, this one is much better. Oh, this is really good. 
you can taste butter feels like fluffier like lighter but with more body I don't really know how to describe this mmm this one the taste is amazing when you try this one one try and you're okay it's good but this one would you try it you want to eat more so yeah definitely the ingredients made a huge difference here in taste consistency in the way it feels I don't know in everything really I really hope you can see what I see here as far as which one is taller this one is a taller thing because of the air this one feels right about now as if it was gonna break and this one feels a bit more steady I love it. it tastes a lot better than just a cake mix I'm definitely going to be incorporating this into my baking more often and yeah if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff click on the bell feel free to share so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll take you later and take care bye guys I'm working in front of a window so you can hear noises and stuff that's why <laughs>